In these problems, we have some big, long, difficult looking equations with two different variables in them. There's an x and there's a y. Well, there's more than one x and y here. We'll have to sort that out. And we're being asked to solve for just one of the variables. And these are a little bit different from the problems you're used to. In the end, you don't just get a simple number. You get something else, an expression. L let me show you what happens here. This one says solve for y. So what we really want to do is get y all by itself on one side of the equation. And then everything else that's on the other side of the equal sign, that's what y equals. So let's start here by combining like terms, first of all. We have 10x and 10x, that they're both positive. So that would add up to 20x. And then we have a positive 6y and a negative 2y. That would add up to positive 4y. And then we just have our negative 8 over here, and equals 0. So all I've done so far is just combine the like terms. Now what I want to do is work on getting everything other than the y over to the other side. I'm going to start with the number here. I'm going to add 8 to both sides. Now I've got 20x plus 4y equals 8. Now I'm going to subtract this 20x from both sides. And that leaves me over here with just 4y equals 8 minus 20x. And then finally, to get y alone, I'm going to divide by 4. Right now there's a 4 multiplied by the y. I want to undo that. And the only tricky thing to remember here is that if you're going to divide by 4, you're dividing the whole side over here by 4. So both of these terms get divided by 4. Here, of course, the 4's cancel, leaving just y, which is what we want. And on the right side of the equation, well, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and negative 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. So you get 2 minus 5x, although in the answer you might see it written y equals negative 5x plus 2. Those are really the same thing, just with the terms in a different order. So that's how to solve that equation for y. Let's try one more here. This one says solve for x. So instead of solving for y, instead of getting the y all alone on one side of the equation, we're going to do the same thing but for the x. Again, the place I'll start is just by combining like terms. So I've got a 3x and a 4x. They're both positive, so that's going to be 7x. And then I've got a negative 10y and a negative 11y. I think that adds up to negative 21y. And then I've got my positive 21 equals 0. So there it is after combining the like terms. And now since I'm solving for x, I want to get everything else over on the other side. I'm going to start by adding 21y to both sides. So that would leave over here 7x plus 21 equals 21y. And then the last thing I need to do is subtract this number, this 21, from both sides. And I get 7x equals 21y minus 21. Well, not the last thing I needed to do, but second to last. The last thing is to divide both sides by 7. So over here, the 7's cancel. I just get x. And over here, let's see, 21y divided by 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3, so that equals... 3y, and negative 21 divided by 7 is negative 3, so I get x equals 3y minus 3, and I have solved that equation for x.